Well, here we are, finally. Some trees are coming down from this house across the street. The city of Los Angeles, I guess, has finally told the homeowner that the trees are too close to power lines. I don't know if you can see it. And uh, there's palm trees over here that are way, way too high. And also a threat. Let me come on down here. You can see there are more trees that need they come away from that roof. And then down on the ground are some of the remains of the palm tree that were actually on that roof of this A-frame type of house. Of course, half of the house has been hidden by all this, this tree action. This house has been on the market for six and a half years with no buyers. And this will probably help the owner of this house if they get rid of these trees and it's just too much around this house as you can see the man with a saw is coming down off that rooftop I don't know much how much more they're going to do but the ivy needs to go too because rats ha hang out in this all that ivy and they also hang out in the top of the palm trees. So this is not a good thing, to say the least. There's also possums and possum families that hide out in that ivy. She's got it along the perimeter of the street, the road there. She thinned it out, but she didn't take it away entirely. So, if she wants to cut down on noise, she's going to have to do something better. Right now, they're in the process of working. It seems to be some more trees around the front of the house. I don't know what they're going to determine, but I hope they will consider those palm trees, because this is a disgrace. Here, I'll be evaluating how much they can do. There's the owner walking there now. It. Probably worried about her roof. But you know, there's more threat from the tree putting a hole in her roof than anything. So that's got to go down. She's probably looking up at this, what they've accomplished so far. I guess she got a notice from uh, DWP. Yeah, all of that is a mess. There she's going now. I don't know what she's doing, where she's going. There's a way too much. Now this worker is going. I think they're going to evaluate these palm trees. I don't know. It'll be interesting to see what they do. Let me see. Where are they going? She's going around the... Oh, she's asking the neighbors. Oh, she's telling the neighbors. Oh, yeah, they got to do something to the neighbors now. Next door. Inform them that the trees are going to come down. I don't know why she didn't do that earlier. Well, back to this square one. I don't know what she's going to do. They're definitely going to that homeowner next door. And part of this tree stuff has to come down. And still, it's a problem with these palm trees because they can go right across the street and hit other buildings on the other side of Cortina. So now they're walking back. I don't know if they came any conclusions about what they're doing. Yeah, and it's back to the discussion again. Mm -hmm. 
And they have to decide what they want to do. He's making recommendations, I guess. How much more has to be chopped away. Chopped away. You certainly can't help after six and a half years of no sale of this house. And all this... I don't think any owner would like to take on the expense of taking down all these trees. I'm, I'm almost sure that DWP, Department of Water and Power, insisted that uh, something had to come down there because in, in the back of this house there are plenty of power lines. Very much a threat if something drops on it. She's going back around the house. See what happens on this Sunday morning, a week away from Easter. Yes, we're going quickly into the summer with very hot temperatures here in Los Angeles. Well, this is another story being played out in a neighborhood. And we'll see how much more has to be chopped up. And that's the report for today on early day in May. Okay, there's the truck that's hauling away all the debris from this. All this tree trimming is still going on the majority of the Sunday afternoon. Now I guess they are starting on the tree near the palm trees. There's so much. There's so much there that needs to go. So hopefully they'll get all of this done. But again, the problem with the ivy is another thing entirely. But this definitely reeks of a problem. There's all kinds of dead palms that are still coming down from that tree there. So you see there's power lines here. And this is on the other side. These power lines are on the other side. Uh, this is on the north side of the street uh, it, where the camera is and it's on the south side where the palm trees are of this street. When we pan on down we can see the owner is back out there again. The sun is bright and it's well into the early part of the afternoon. Quite a bit of work to be done, yes. We watch and we listen. I'm taking a enormous she's out there now. I can see her. I'm walking around. This tree is badly damaged there. It definitely needs trimming as well. I don't know where the owner is walked to now. Back under all this stuff. She shouldn't even be anywhere near where they're cutting, but she is. So we'll see what happens. I'm pulling out just a little awkwardly. It's just enormous. The amount of work that needs to be done it should have been done long ago. Years ago. You see the owner just behind these trees over to the corner. At least she's away from the trees and won't fall on her. I don't understand why she went over there to begin with. She's looking at her all this work. She 
goes back to the back of the house. That's the owner. <laughs> 